For many years, fire has become the main ally for human beings, necessary for the preparation and cooking of food, traditional stoves have always been used in the countryside, but they do not take advantage of all the thermal energy produced by the fire and generate an amount of smoke that is harmful to health. The idea of efficient stoves stems from the need of the peasant community that cooks with traditional stoves, open-air stoves where the communities or the housewives who are cooking are in direct contact with the smoke, are directly exposed to the smoke and this causes them many diseases, lung diseases, headaches, many diseases caused by the use of this open-air stove. Being exposed for a long time to the smoke produced by wood can cause different lung diseases that are silent and over time become lethal. Efficient stoves consist of a food cooking system that takes advantage of the thermal energy generated by firewood. The parts that make up this system are, the plates, located in the upper right part of the stove, made of cast iron and resistant to heat used to cook food. On the left side is the cauldron with a specific use, to keep boiled water available. It also has a protection bar around it to protect from possible burns. On one side is the aeration gate. Its function is to allow the passage of the air towards the damper where the firewood is located in the back right part. Below is the draft damper where the start is made to remove the cold air from the chimney and the soot residues are extracted. In the part on the left we find the oven. Below this, the gate where the ash produced falls and finally the chimney. A tube adapted to the stove by where the smoke is conducted outside the house. The benefits we have for the environment is as I said. Deforestation is avoided by reducing the consumption of firewood emitting fewer emissions and a wood stove that is working all the time reduces two tons of CO2 per year then we are contributing to our environment with this stove. There is a constant increase in CO2 in the world that causes the climate problem. But what is CO2? Carbon dioxide CO2 or also called carbon dioxide is a gas whose molecules are composed of two oxygen atoms and one carbon. These act trapping the heat and overheating the planet, generating different problems such as droughts, incessant rains, temperature increases. I used to cook on a small stove that had firewood there, so it was very difficult for me because sometimes it rained, I was very far from the kitchen. It also hurt my eyes a lot, my head hurt a lot, it kept me very sick because of that stove. We are in community action and that project came out there. They asked us who needs a stove. So I said that they would collaborate with us because I was very sick with my eyes and my head. So the lady came to visit us and told us that yes. Dona Rosa's stove turned out very well and it's good that it's working for her. Yes ma'am, look no smoke, everything comes out of the chimney. As judicious as this firewood has here, already. Cut list to put it here. Yes. And the oven? Is it working? Ah he's making cake. That's good. Very good that. Take advantage of all the compartments of the stove. Yes. Were you taught well, did you learn in the training how to use it? 
Yes. For people it has a great economic benefit since some want to switch to gas, and they are not going to want that because gas costs them so with the efficient stove they simply have their firewood, they use it for the stove and there they go to save a little money, they better invest the resources in other things, either for their food, or for recreation or something other than buying gas to be able to cook. And there they have the stove where they can cook in peace, some of the stove users they have established a wood orchard that also in some of the projects they have been supplied with plant material that they plant near their home and over time they will have a place to collect their firewood, so they will not have any cost, they will not have to make any investment. The food that is prepared in the stoves is delicious, because even the peasants say. The food with firewood tastes very good, but there it will not taste like smoke but it is a different flavor, it is a very rich flavor. And they do not cook the rice and the egg but since it is a stove and it has several stalls, they on one side they make the rice, on the other the beans, in the oven they make their cake, their desserts, their bananas, rather, they have variety. They have to vary the menu because they have more space on the stove and they do it at the same time. Well, then, are you making lunch? Yes, I'm making some brevas. It's good that you take advantage of all the spaces, practically the food is ready. Yes. It tastes better than gas, they taste good, because it is made with firewood and firewood gives you many. More food flavor than gas, gas does not taste as good. In the city it is not recommended much because as it always has a duct through which the smoke comes out, we can suddenly disturb a neighbor who bothers this chimney by emitting smoke. So the ideal is that it be as for the rural area, and that it really be for the people who cook with firewood so that they have that change, that change of no longer having this traditional stove that cooks directly, that the smoke, no, that they have that good change but preferably for the rural area. Maintenance is an important part of the operation of this system since it accumulates a large amount of soot and ash that hinders the passage of smoke, let us know what it consists of. The stove must be maintained mainly in the chimney. They have to stake out so that it doesn't get clogged and smoke doesn't start to come out, because otherwise we would be doing the same as the traditional stove does, doing maintenance on the iron to clean it, remove the ashes that are acquired by the consumption of firewood. Practically it is that. A very simple maintenance. Keep it clean, remove the cauldron cleaning the soot. In itself it is something very simple and basically that is the key to that the stove works well and has good durability. It was super good. How do you maintain this? This is where the ash is removed. Because if there is a lot of it, a lot of smoke begins to come out. And when are you going to start the stove? How do you do it? Here you put the firewood first and here a piece of paper so that the smoke goes up. To take the cold out and not start smoking everywhere. Yes. And how do you maintain the chimney? My husband gets on and with a long stick and a sack begins to move it so that it goes down. Everything and then the dirt is removed here. When the chimney gets clogged and people don't clean it, it sometimes starts to knock and when it clicks, the smoke starts to look for a way out, it doesn't come out of the chimney it starts to come out from anywhere so people say, oh this stove doesn't work for me anymore, this has already started to smoke, no, 
it's because maybe it's covered the chimney pipe then you have to do the maintenance. Look here already making the arepa, the cake is being made, see it was damaged. We invite the peasant community that still cooks with firewood, that their main method of cooking is firewood so that you have the possibility of accessing one of them. And so they can see a change in their lives and in their family. See if it provokes them, I'll serve them cake so they can eat. Thank you very much and I congratulate you because you are putting the stove to good use and it shows. Is doing maintenance so I receive the cake. And the cauldron. Ah, it's the water that is boiling for when you need to add it to the soup or make red. Aromatic. Efficient stoves, a practical solution that improves people's well-being in the of the planet. Due to its reduction in firewood consumption, capture of carbon dioxide and prevents the release of greenhouse gases, thus contributing to the care of the different ecosystems necessary for life.